Start, yeah. Okay. What did you say? Huh? What did you say? Oh, I'll say, I'll talk about three topics. Mon, two of them, one guy asked me, and he's not here tonight. <laughs> um, so, let me wait to the second one. I'll say, uh, I spoke about it in Shun, a lot of people asked me to repeat this. You know, you learn the Rigmara, Baka Misrapim, you gotta heal yourself with anything, everything besides. The only way to heal yourself is Avedizora, you can't use Avedizora. So the Gemara gives an example of Avedizora, the Gemara gives. What's the example of Avedizora? But it says, let's say a guy needs a leaf of a tree, which is an Asheda. Asheda means they have a tree, which they worshipped, and it happens to say he needs a leaf from the tree. So using a leaf of a a tree which is our shader and who's going to heal him you're not allowed to use it because you're healing yourself with a disorder so it's a mechlekes tesis in the Rambam the Rambam says what's wrong using a leaf for healing yourself in a disorder which you know what, what is wrong the Rambam says there's a love in the toy you're not allowed to take anything from a disorder so there's a love so you gotta die Rather than heal yourself with Havay Dezara. Taisis learns that it's only a Dirabanan because he's not saying, Taisis understood that if a guy says the only refu I have is from Havay Dezara, you're right, but I just happen to need an awkward leaf which happened to be in my neighbor who was also a Hashedah. The doctor didn't say it has to be an Hashedah. Let's say awkward leaf helps to heal this dangerous uh, illness. And right outside, next to my house, there's a leaf like that. That, the Tosis was only the bottom. Still, Tosis says, you have to die rather than heal yourself. The Gemara doesn't give the example of Gilarois. What does a Gilarois mean? That you have to rather die than, you know, than violate Gilarois. What, what? A guy is sick? He says, Bakam is Rappen. Besides Gilarois, and uh, no, the three. What is Gilar? What do you say? Yeah, but that's not Masrapim. Yeah. So the, the, the round brings down the Gemara. There's a very famous Gemara in the Sech Sanhedrin. There was a guy who was, I don't know how you say it in English, sick in love, love and sick, that he was going to die, love sick, you say in English? Yeah. Love sick. The Gemara says that the doctor said he's going to die unless he lives with this lady. So the Gemara says, let him die and not live with this lady. So I think what it says, you know, maybe the doctor said, maybe if she's going to be without clothing, maybe that's going to calm him down. He won't die. Let him die. Then I think what it says, okay, the doctor says, maybe she's going to be at the other side of the fence. Let him sh have a talk. He'll be this side of the fence. She'll be the other side of the fence. Did you just this? No. Where is this? Which Gemara is this? The Sigmund Maybe you saw it brought down in the art scroll in the Gemara, if you prepared. The art scroll mentioned very briefly. So, what the, so the Gemara says that you rather have to listen to this Gemara, die, than talk with the girl on the other side of the fence. Now the Gemara says, what are we talking about? What's, what was with this girl? The Gemara says, this girl was an Aces ish What's wrong with talking with an Aces ish I know you guys are going to be shocked when I'm going to tell you now. But let's understand. You want to say, what's wrong? I'm talking to a married lady. But if you're talking to her because you want to enjoy her femininity, that is a bizarre de gilaroyas. Bizarre means a, 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 that's a, a love, right? That itself. That the reason I'm. He, he was. Yarab Galdaw. Rather die than talk to her. The thing what it says, the doctor says maybe it's going to help. The mother comes out, rather die. You hear what the Gemara says? Die. So this Ramosha has a tshuva for this Gemara. It's a shocking tshuva Ramosha. If you're talking because you want to join her femininity. You have business and you have a worker, you have a secretary, but if you are, you want to speak to her because... If you say pass the postal, that's okay. Yeah, but if you are, I, I tell you what happened to me. 
that Moshe has a tshuva. I'll tell you what someone asked me many years ago. He's in college, uh, someplace in not Pomona, Pasadena. There's a big college in Pasadena. He was going to medical school. And he was telling me that there was another Jewish lady also with him in medical school. And they would eat lunch together all the time and because they ate kosher. So he says, why don't you marry her? He says, Rabbi, she's an anger management problem. You know, she could blow up in the middle of class also, the, the professor. I can't have a, a wife who's going to just get angry. So he wanted to know, someone told him, I just, I just can't get hang out with him. I says, he's right. The Moshe Mamish has this question. The guy wants to hang out with a girl, does not plan to marry her, but he enjoys a girl's friendship. What's that? But they're both single. Both single. But he doesn't want to marry her. Clearly. Maybe he'll come for one. Uh, <laughs> he said, clearly. Nothing to talk about. He said, you know, yeah, he, he was prejudiced also. I don't want to talk about him, though. He was very prejudiced. But the bottom line is, if you know you're not going to marry her, and the reason you want to have even married people, they sometimes say, I enjoy her company, company her femininity, how she smiles and how she laughs. That is an Issa Daraisa. People don't know this. It's very frightening. No, it's an Issa Daraisa. It's a Daraisa. What's the possible? Well, that the Moshe has a long tshuva. Well, what, which, which Daraisa, which passing it is. Let's, uh, the, uh, I, I haven't seen it this time, but the Moshe has a long tshuva to explain. But the Gemara clearly says it is forbidden. The Gemara says all the guy wanted to talk to the girl behind the fence. Chapa shmuz, as we say in Yiddish. You know, just uh, a talk. And then what it says, said, and maybe that is going to save his life. Let him die and not to save him life even just because he was infatuated with her. So her, the, talking with her wasn't because she, she was the lady that, uh, that was like a... Let's uh, say she was single. He was so the says if she was single, the mother, Mama Duma learns that she was single. And nothing to do he's married. Mama Duma, she said, the mother, if she's single, what's wrong? The mother says, a very frightening mother. If she wants, it's okay. But the family in the month, it's a bazillion half family. The whole world is going to say, you know, that family, what happened to that girl? The guy was infatuated and he shot to stay behind the run. That, it's a whole, we go into a whole complication. Why your own COVID comes before someone's health? Your own, sometimes your own thing comes before. But that's a, that's a separate issue. But I will focus, this is a bit one chiddush. The second thing about that Gemara, Megillah Arroyas, that many people always ask me, the, the, you know, the question was that uh, um, if you, how could Esther Hamalka go and save Klal Yisrael? Esther was married to Mordechai. So let's start from scratch. How was e Esther allowed to live with Mordechai? He's a guy. And he's married. Without his marriage. What did he say? Without his marriage. But that, but that Hashveris, yes. How could Esther? I'm sorry, I'm saying, how could Esther live with Hashveris? She's living with a guy. Well, there's two, the two answers. You know, there's, the, 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 let me start the other way around. The din is we all learn Pashas Penchus. If a Yi lives with a Shiksa, the Kenu and Pogba. You know what Penchus did? He shot them both. So living with a Shiksa is mamish chayv kores chayv misa, because if you are the guy catches you in the act, and it's, it doesn't, many people, uh, let me explain this. What does it mean, a boy that I'm is canoe and boy? Doesn't mean that got on stage and had a beer with the shiksa, like the, the 70s they did. Talking about he's living, he, and, and like under one roof, Kozibas, Zimri Mansori grabbed all the Kozibas who dragged him into a tent. And it was just, everyone knew, well, he didn't take, grab into the tent to play chess with her. There's not that there was everyone's peeping inside. They knew, why do you go inside? So when he snuck in, so it's called in front of a, a, a Fresia. So there's a mitzvah to kill him. That's very interesting. He only allowed to kill him in the act. But if the second he goes off, he can't kill him. It's only while he's doing it. That means if he, if second before that to stop him to doing it, or a second afterwards, because he's not allowed to kill him. It's exodus, of course, but from there you learn living with a shiksa is a horrible sin. Many people don't realize it. It's a horrible sin. The other way around, a Jewish lady living with a man, with a goy, Esther living with a goy is not a isadaraisa, it's only isadarabonon. No, 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 nothing to do with karakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarak
uh, has a one night stand with a guy. He's not married to him. Willing to a Jewish lady living with a guy is only a bezdin shen chashmui de asad. I mean, it's not a bezdin shishem. That's not an isad. The rice is the So the man says, explains this, that. Uh, no, not just first a regular regular Jewish lady, just a regular Jewish lady. Uh, so. You can't marry a coin, right? You can't marry a coin. That she was raped. But let's say a Jewish lady lived with a guy is is only a derbanon. A Jewish man that was with the shiksa is not only a deraisa, but a, it's chayv misa. It's a frightening thing. Vice versa is only a derabanan. So the first question is, let's say Esther was not married to Mordechai. Why did she allow, why was Esther married, did uh, uh, Esther not die for the fact that she was married to Cheshveres? Last week's part she will learn, loy tishaten, you're not allowed to intermarry. So, why did uh, Esther, uh, you know, should have died? It's Gilad Ois. You follow the question? That's one night stand. Saying, but now the Torah says, there's Lois Ischaten. Do not get married. So the Rabban says, marriage with a gun is not a marriage. That means Esther was not married to Achishveres. The only reason she was in the palace because she didn't want to have a blaze, you know, didn't want to be hung on the gallows, as they say. She wanted to be there? Of course not. So may that's not Galishat. Okay. So that answers that question. Other showing them learn that the level is Shatan is not Gilearois. But then that's more like this. The other question, what you just says, Esther Karkailam. So that's the the Mura Esther Kasha. How about Esther? The Mura says if a um but for us here, they want you to do an Aveda publicly. You have to die not to commit the Aveda. They would ask the Kasha, Esther was publicly. So that thing would answer, Esther Karkoilim. Karkoilim means a woman doesn't initiate it, doesn't do anything. She doesn't initiate it. I, I'm, it's not an initiate. Sorry, it's not the wrong word. A woman is passive. Karkoilim means the woman doesn't do anything, she's just passive. So the, 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 if a woman doesn't want to do it, she only does it because she wants to do it. She's not doing an Aveda. Only time a woman does an Aveda is when she wants it. Even though she's, she's laying there. The woman's also chayv. A, a married lady lives with her, she's living with her guys, chayv, both a chayv, uh, 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 that because she wanted it. But if she doesn't want it, and, uh, and she just, you know, she doesn't have to, I, uh, uh, all due respect, she didn't have to put a fight every time he came to her. You know, didn't have to, you know, make sure that it's uh, called a rape. Just the fact is, she didn't want it, and uh, that's called karka oilam. But the Gemara asked another, the Rishonim are busy with another, another very important question. The Rishonim are very busy. The Gemara says that Esther was married to Mordechai. You know that, Esther was married to Mordechai. And the Gemara says, that when Esther initiated the thing, she became Osa to Mordechai. Kasha Vadati, Avadati. You know what that means? That she said, let me tell to explain this Kasha, let me tell you a story that happened in times of Noidi Behuda. Times of Noidi Behuda, there was a, a group, they used to travel in groups because of the bandits of who would come on the road. Unfortunately, as they were traveling, there were a bunch of bandits who wanted to kill them all and take the money. There was among the group. There was a married lady who was a stunning beauty. Pussy, the lady the, the writes, if, like it says in the Torah, you fast story, fast matter. So she went to talk to the leader. She pushed her. So all she did was take off a tichel, and he saw her. He went crazy. He went to the side of the road, they had a beer, and saved everyone. So I wanted to know what is the aloha now? Did she do the right thing? Is she mitter for the husband? She didn't, you know, all she did was uncover her face. That's it. So the, the, the Swiss Yankim says that we learn it from Esther. What happened by Esther? Esther got dressed as a Malka to save Claudio. She had no intentions to be with him. The one that says, she said, since I'm doing this act, I will become forbidden to Mordechai, to live with Mordechai. Kashi Avadati, Avadati. That means even though she didn't get dressed to initiate a beer, she got dressed as a queen to come plead for the sake of Kalyusul. 
Still the Gemara says, Kasha Vadati, Vadati. Asi come. Did she do a right thing? So the Swiss Yankev says, of course, you see from Esther. The Noidi Bidi says, what do you mean? The Gemara says here, you're not allowed to heal yourself with Gilad Oyes. If you can't heal yourself with Gilad Oyes, you cannot save Klal Yisrael with... Uh, so you can, cannot save Klal Yisrael with Gilad Oyes. So Noidi Bidi asks this question. This question, Mama Noidi Bidi asks, that how... Well, you can't save yourself, but here she's saving Klal Yisrael. So Noidi Bidi says you can't. So how did she do it? Noidibi no, says she had a shoe special, a shoe from Sanhedrin. Esther. Esther. That is a big doichik. But the Noidibi either did not have the Balamor and the Rambam, the Mohammed Hashem. That's a safer written by the Rambam, which the early, it wasn't printed yet. So it's a, the Rambam asked this question. The Balamor and the Rambam literally asked this question. How was it Esther permitted? To, if she became also for her husband, how was she permitted to initiate, to go to him, to save Kali Yisrael? That was the, the question. Follow the, the question, in short, is that in order to save Kali Yisrael, she had to, uh, to, go, to go to him. So the, so the Rabban says a very interesting answer, the Rabban says. A Jewish, uh, the Torah says, what does it say in the Torah? That a man who lives with his friend's wife, Aishis Re'ehi, is Chayev Kudus. The Torah says, if you live with your, bro- your friend's wife, the Chayev Kudus, and a Goy is not Aishis Re'ehi. For Goy, Achashverois, and she would have not called Aishis Re'ehi. It's not called a friend. That means she, Achashverois, is living with her. It's not that the, the, when the Torah says a Jewish lady cannot live, she cannot live with a Jewish man. But the, but the Goy, it's not the Gilad Oyes. That's why you have a Chaldush. So that means the same as the one I said? Yeah, so I says the Noidimid before that, so why is not Osir, uh, why did she become Osir Mordechai? Why did she become Osir Mordechai? You're telling me it's like, a, it's not called Eishrei. So let me explain something. There's two things by a husband. The Torah, when it, the Torah says when a woman lives with someone else, you know how the Torah calls it? Mu'al means, I say well in English, um, what's the right word in English? Mu'al? Mu'al Hashem. How do you say mu'al in English? Yeah. Yeah, but Mila is, uh, but, but it doesn't say Mila by and a husband. And the Pasha Saita uses the word Moal. But uh, when a lady lives, uh, that's the right word in English. I mean, it, 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 no, 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 no. You know, it's, it's. No, 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 no. It's, you know, you violated the trust that a husband has with his wife. Let's say a lady, I don't know the right word in English, but let's say a lady does not, didn't live with another man. She flirts with him. There was no, nothing there. She just flirts with him. They laugh together. There is a, the, the, so it can't say she became also, but her husband feels violated. Betrayed. Betrayed, that's the word. He feels betrayed. You don't have to have, literally, that she, she lived with the guy. This is a thing many people don't realize. An order, a lady becomes also for the husband, only becomes Osa if literally she had a beer. Be she had intercourse with another per- person, a Jewish lady. If a lady did everything but intercourse, then she, then she doesn't become Osa. She laughed with him, even she hugged with him, even though as long as there was no, there's no beer, doesn't become Osa. But it's a terrible betrayal. That's two separate issues. The Torah says the betrayal has to be very, very big. So by Goy, who lives with a Jewish married lady, if she initiated, it is a betrayal. So it is a betrayal. So the betrayal makes it that she becomes us of the husband. But it's not Gilead Royas. Because it's a goy with a Jewish lady. You follow? It's, it's a very... Uh, the lady in the time of the Noidibida, what was her upset? It wasn't the Noidibida. No, the, the, she, she did it. The question, she did the right thing. She did it. Yeah, she, yeah. Yankiv said she did the right thing. Noidibida said she did the wrong thing. Well, she asked her. Yeah, everyone agrees she was us and her husband. 
because that's called a vi- you know what was the word you used uh, betrayal. betrayal. That's a betrayal. Even though the husband, you know, that's another famous thing. I, the husband was there, maybe he allowed it. That has nothing to do. I don't want to go. That's a whole separate sugya. That it is a betrayal in the marriage, sort of to say. You know, a woman belongs to the husband. I have, I always tell women. Recently, told I told the lady that uh, that you know she should dress more seized again. She was giving me a hard time. You know, the lady comes to me. I always tell them, if you want to talk to me, you got to come dressed sneezdik. And then, uh, and I tell them, I, I always tell this to women, that the ch- men are, don't want to say the truth, but men want your femininity only for themselves. They don't want you to be displayed. Most men, you know, if, if he's not such a sneezdik guy, he likes that people should think he's got a, you know, but most people, if they are honest with themselves, would say, I want my wife's femininity, her beauty for myself. Most young people tell me they get annoyed. The wife gets dressed up when they go out, you know, for, for the wedding. Well, what's with me? What am I? Uh, let's be honest. When you're young, it's annoying. When I was young, it was annoying. You want it? You want it? Anyways, I, I want to focus on about uh, coming back. So the new Yibi Hida held, there was a special heter. And the other, the, the Balamon says, no, that you, that you learn from Esther that it's not called Gilaroyes. When a Jewish lady lives with a guy, it's called, uh, it's the, it, it, it has a betrayal in the marriage, but it doesn't have anything in the... In the. Now, now, there's another famous question, you know, which, which brings it out from, from over this thing. You know, the Gemara says that uh, if, in, the Gemara says like this, if they tell someone, Reuven, to kill Shimon, if you don't kill Shimon, we'll kill you. So the Gemara says, you'd rather die. You have no right to kill the guy. Question it, that means you're not allowed to save someone's life by killing someone else. Let's say you could save, you could save someone's life. The guy needs a heart. The guy needs a kidney. I'm going to shoot another guy, steal his heart and kidney to save another person. You're not allowed to do that. It's obvious. The Gemara brings this order. How about killing a, a Jewish person to save other Jewish people? Not one, thousands. I don't know if you know, and through the war, there was, a, there was someone called oh. the Holocaust. There was a guy called Mechube Weissman. There wasn't a guy, it was a young man, and he, he saved, he postponed nine months that the, the Hungarian Jews were not taken to Auschwitz. That's why from Hungarian Jews, so many survived. I don't know if you know, then the proportion of Polish was there, but then if you, uh, the Polish was mamish, unbelievable by Pab, but that's why that a lot of Hungarians survived. That's why there is uh, Williamsburg, Borough Park. When I grew up, there was two languages, three languages speaking on the street. Yiddish, Hungarian, and the Puerto Ricans. That's how it was spoke. Uh, there was no English being spoken. Can you imagine? Grove in a neighborhood, no one spoke English. So the Puerto Rican went to, worked in a Jewish store. He learned how to speak Yiddish. You know what I mean? That's, that's how we grew up. Uh, English? I, I, I don't know how to speak English, so I came here. I didn't know how to speak English. But anyways, so... So, what was, uh, so the question was, and he has a question, I mean, uh, the, the famous question I mean, I made, so that he asked, is what happened was he wanted, when they were, the, the trains were going to Auschwitz, he wanted to have a, a TNT, what is it called? Um, dynamite. dynamite on the train. So when, and when it gets under the tunnel, he had a few young people to blow themselves up. And like this, it'll save, destroy the tracks, and they won't be able to take more people to the Auschwitz. That was his plan. He doesn't write in the Sefer. I read the Sefer when I was a young teenager. He doesn't write, if my memory is correct, he doesn't write the pilpul, the aloha pilpul. But what is the question? What is really the question? The question is, am I, uh, that means if they blow up the train and the whole thing collapses, the tunnel, let's say, there were th- people, thousands will die, but it will save 100,000, let's say. Am I allowed to kill? My mother went to Auschwitz and she survived. Not everyone who came to Auschwitz survived. There was a certain percent who they put into labor, forced labor, and she survived the war. So not everyone died. So the question was, if you go to, what's his name, if you, I'm allowed to kill many people, or even one, to save many. See, I'm not allowed to kill one person to save another person who says your blood is better. But how about one person saving thousands? This was his question. Doesn't write in the thing why, and, uh, but the, 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 when I, 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 uh, 
Well, I the one of the rise will be from Esther. The, the, how do you know that you're not allowed to mezano uh, uh, to save a person's life? Znus is also. If you remember, the Gemara learns it out from Ritzicha. The Gemara compares it nara merosa to to murder. The Gemara compares these two things together. If I'm not allowed to kill someone to save another person's life, so too I'm not allowed to gilaro is to save a person's life. That thing what it says. So if you see the Rishoyim all ask, how did Esther allow to be with Achashverosh? Well, she saved the entire Jewish nation. So it's like she murdered one person to save the nation. The Rishoyim held that was you can't do that. See the Rishoyim and everyone asks, what's the question? I wouldn't have a question. You're violating one of the sin to save many. Just like you. It's not, I'm, I'm just telling you, it's not so simple as I'm saying it. Uh, there's many, right? One of the questions people ask, how did Shimshu Magiba did what he did? But this is not a good raya. Shimshu Magiba is a cash anyways, because he killed Goyim. You know what Shimshu Magiba did. Shimshu Magiba says, Tumas Navshim Palishtim. You know what that means. He was standing next to the two pillars, Shimshu, uh, and he said, the, give me back my strength, and he pulled the two pillars together, and he killed 3,000 people died. Then he, he pulled the pillars down. But that's Bechlan Ararai because he killed Goyim. That's anyways a kasha. That's not talking about Jews. So this and is... He, and he killed himself. Yes. So that's not Ararai at all. Then you know yeah. what... Uh, so and if a person... You see, a person is allowed to kill himself to save others. You know what I mean? They teach you in the army, you know, that jump on the... When they throw a, what is it, a grenade to save others. The, 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 the Gemara says like this the Gemara in Sechtestanus there were two brothers who were called Harug and Lud what happened in Lud the king said the, the, the daughters of the king was found murdered and they blamed the Jews and they said to the Jews if you don't arrest the guy who did it he's going to kill out every Jew in the city and he was very, very serious his daughter was killed two brothers came and they said they did it and they were hung and the truth, they never did it. They did it to save the, the, the city. The Gemara says, Haru Galud are a place that even the Tanoam don't have. Such a high place in Shemaim. Such a high, high, high place. If, if you remember well, about 10, 15 years ago, there was a, a, there was a, uh, a car coming, and uh, the, the, the bus in Israel, the, taking the children, and there was a, a, a guy realized that this is a, a suicide bomber and he, he was on patrol and quick, you rammed out the car and he blew up and he saved all the Jewish children. Remember such a story? The Hebron? I remember very clearly the story. And he, Mamish, he, he is in a place in Ganeidah where to know him. He literally saved, he would have been killed too. But rather, everyone should die. You know, this, the suicide bomber was coming with the, with the car. He rammed the car, and he and this car blew up, and the whole bus was saved. That is a person that is a person that's allowed to commit suicide for that reason, to save others. But there's a different question. Can I kill one person? If I want to save other people, I have to... Let's say you had this an Arab suicide bomber. I, the only way to stop him, I have to kill 10 Jews standing next to him. Should never be tested. You know, there's a suicide bomber there, and I, the only way to eliminate him is others got to get killed and I save a few hundred. That is the famous question. Okay? Should never be tested with these questions. But this happened in World War II very often. This, was, uh, was that the Rana Israel, the one in the Holocaust? What? He doesn't, he doesn't write what his... He, he, at the end he didn't do it. And he doesn't write... He doesn't write why he, he said he had a question halacha and he didn't do it. He doesn't explain himself why. Doesn't, in the Sefer. I mean, in the Sefer made it just to say, and he wrote down quickly what happened to him during the war. But technically, if somebody did it on their own will, would it have been okay? No. I mean, own will. If he blows himself up, yeah. but if he can't blow himself a whole train and kill hundreds of people. Uh -huh. you, you understand the question? That was... He says there were, he had many volunteers who wanted to do it. When the idea came to him, he had many volunteers, but his question was that uh, still it's not okay. You follow? Okay. What's the not committed between the woman in the time of the movie basically was, you know, she sacrificed herself to save her group? Is she considered, even though she's also, I guess, is that considered a worthy thing? 
Yes, you see, Esther, according to Noidibi, the no. Noidibi says that Esther has special shoes on the The Noidibi says, and the others learn now, the, 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 the others learn the, 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 that she Esther didn't. Moved in and married his, his, this woman didn't. All she did was, was uncover herself no. or whatever. Mary was rape. She had no choice. So she doesn't become us on the husband. The question is, she initiated because she went dressed up as a queen and st- was going to go plead. That is called an initiating, enough initiating. How do you do it? One time. One time. How do you undo it? So she's, she's not from the, she's, she's, how do you, how did, how did she undo that? Which Nothing. She said, this is now, that's what she says. With more effects, permanent. But, but permanent. She can never go back. Exactly. She cash your body to your body. Aren't there some pains that she wasn't able to go back and had kids later or something like that? No, the the the. the, the, the she, kid. Yeah, she had a Shvedish kid. Davyorish was a Shvedish kid. Ah. Okay, that's the part. One thing I wanted to say. The, the other thing is not here. This guy who asked me to speak. So let me speak to Hashem Mishpat. On that same on that same topic, in the case where a woman is with another man, right? But today, you don't believe her, right? If she no. says that I I, I was. And if he says, yes, she was with me, you also don't believe him as well, right? right. So practically today, in the case of infidelity, unless there's signs, unless there's great, great signs, we has, you know, I'm going to... What's great signs? Do you have a picture of the child? This is where the video... Let's say a husband and a wife, and the husband knows that his wife uh, uh, was with somebody else, let's say because he was there or or whatever, right? So in that case, he's never allowed to, he's not allowed to stay married to her. Right. Only, only and what if he does stay married to her? It's a love. It's a love. It's a love. Each B is a love. So if, 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 if he does true, but she does true, but then, then at that point, they have to look at each other and say, hey, we can't be married anymore. Correct. Only if it's Bia. Only with Bia. Only if there was a Bia. And then, let's say he says, we know for sure. He knows for sure there was a beer. Then, the, then it's also the two Adam come, you know, and not the Shechot comes, and Adachot comes to say, and he trusts. Adam, let's say he was there. Oh, he himself was there. Yeah, many crazy stories. Yeah, consensual. You know, and, uh, so that's, it's also nothing to talk about. Nothing to talk about. Okay. You know, uh, uh, before I go to Rosh Mishpet, all I, I, I could tell you all that the states of heart of sex is unbelievable powerful. Anyone is foolish to say I could flirt with another lady and it's not going to hurt me is fooling himself. You know what I mean? Like uh, I always tell people that we don't have nowadays the luxury not to have a stellar shalom bias, a great shalom bias. You see, if you have a great shalom bias, and uh, then you usually, usually don't look for others. In Yiddish, there's a very powerful saying. I don't know how it's going to come out in English. In Yiddish, there's a saying, if you have warm bread at home, you don't look for cold bread by others. It's a famous Yiddish saying. That's an expression in Yiddish is saying. I mean, like, you know, if, if you... But, uh, but uh, pre- people have to keep the distance, you know. But, you know, you don't flirt, and you don't call about the first name, and how are you, and so nice to see you, you look so beautiful, and unfortunately, I've seen that. Okay, I, want to exp- I, I wanted to go into another question, Hashimishbit, because this came up, this comes up a lot. And it came up a few times. Let me tell you a story where it happened. I, get, this is a, I don't have the copy, I don't think he made a copy of Sheen Amal Gibbet, so let me just tell you about Kitsa. There was a bris, let me tell you what happened in town. There was a bris, supposed to be a bris, and he, the caterer, any, any caterers over here? And the a caterer was called, prepared everything. In the morning, they, they, they took the, the baby was, I gave a hard time at night, took the temperature, the, it was really the, the mother or the grandmother, said something is wrong, took temperature, and the baby had a fever. And the doctor says, absolutely, you don't make a breast. Of course, you're not allowed to make a breast. So the caterer is screaming. <laughs> I mean, I prepared everything, and uh, you know, he called them up already early in the morning, don't do anything, there's no breast, don't bring it to shoe. They were screaming anyway, we don't bring it to shul. I mean, you know, 
called cooked up the eggs, ordered the waiters. You know how these things go. It's, it's a, so does he have to pay the whole thing? He doesn't have to pay. What is the halacha? Or let's say, I have another story. Even if he gave a deposit, let's say, right? Even if he gave a deposit. No, doesn't make a difference. The question, the rest of the money, does he have to? What is the halacha? I tell you not, or let me say another story. A guy, uh, this happened, it was a true story. The a lady, a kala, was getting married and she drove this, you know, Abba Hashem married off many girls. They could drive the seamstress nuts. I hope my daughters don't listen, but you know what I mean? The, the, the kala, you know, has, the dress has to be, and unfortunately, and about three, two weeks before the wedding, the whole wedding was called off. She doesn't need a dress. I mean, you don't need a dress. The dressmaker says, I made the dress. Come pick it up. He says, there's no wedding. So what? That's not my headache. You know, so does she have, have to pay? To tell the dressmaker, sell the dress, and I'll pay the difference. Uh, if, she, if the dressmaker can find someone that's her exact Right. Dress, but let, let's say she, it, 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 there's no way. I remember that story. There was no way she could find, but she could find someone that she will work on it afterwards. And, you know, you know, it's the fit, and, and uh, you know, uh, uh, whose headache is this? Who's a chayis? Or, you know, I mentioned, mentioned, we once talked about it over here, I think Rabbi Zayn said he had a real good thing. Also the same thing, I mean, in the Sheva Bruchas, the wedding was, found out that he was, either he was, I don't know who was not well, and he was taking medication, and realized that the person is not a healthy person, and, uh, and it was a mekech to us. The guy was screaming, I want my money back. Or let's say, uh, that's a little different, but let's just say caterer. The, the wedding was called off. Who pays the caterer? Who play? So, contingencies usually in the star? Well, if, it's, if it says in the star, most often it's not done the right way. In the star, if it says, I have no idea, but let's say it says in the star, it says in the contract, that doesn't make a difference. Your wedding is called off, not called off. Yeah, but that is an asmachta, because ask any chos and kala father. What do you think, my <laughs> Never would happen. My kala is madly in love with the chos and uh, never, never happened. You know, no one ever dreams, you know. Um, so if it's done right, if there's a way to do it. There's a way to write it. The asmachta, um, there's a way to do it. But let's just focus on this. this is, so the question is, when I order a pair of shoes, a wedding dress, I order the guy to prepare food. Is it, what is it? Is he a poil? You know what a poil means? Is a worker for me? Did I hire a worker? Or is it when I, I ordered it, I don't take it, I cause them a great loss? It's called a germi. Germi means a loss. You want to hear a cute shala? Teenagers asked me the, uh, this morning that they were driving, the driver was driving, and one of the girls was not wearing a seatbelt. So the girl got a, not I mean the Sipa got a, a, a ticket, and the driver got a ticket. So the, the driver asked me, does she have to pay me for my ticket? She was getting me absent. I said, yes. You know, you did her a favor, gave her a ride, and you have to pay, that's called the Gurmi. Let, let's focus our case over here. So if I order a dress, a caterer, or shoes, and I don't want to pick up, so did I hire a worker? I didn't hire a worker. I said, do it, and I'll buy it from you, and I don't want to buy it. So now it's called a grimi. What is the major difference between these two? See, the major difference is grimi is a, is, is a knas, or tikkun. That means that the Chazal said, since you, um, it's causes, you cause them a loss, you have to pay them. That's only, it's bemazed. Let's talk about this bris. This bris, it was an honest. There's nothing you could do. You know, today, it's, it's very quickly. Everyone knew about it already in the morning because you just send an email. You know, I remember when I was young, young, I was a young, you know, I was a, not a young teenager. I remember it was about 22. Happened, I came to the bris. I didn't know there was no bris. But he, he had food for everyone anyway. He says, why do you want to enjoy the food? No one knew about it. There was no bris. But here, every, no one showed up. And so the question is, is how do we look at it? Do we look at it as I cause them a loss? So if, if I'm an oinus, I don't have to pay him. Or do we say no? Do we say I hire him as a worker? If you hire a worker, it doesn't make a difference. We have to pay him for everything. 
You understand? If I hire, if I, let's uh, uh, the same, uh, this, uh, uh, the same thing would be uh, tell a guy build me a beautiful swarm in, uh, 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 in my house. Starts working, and I say stop. You know what I mean? I don't want to. I don't want the swarm closet. If he's building in my house, everyone agrees he's a poil, even though he bought the lumber on his own, right? You're a contractor, and I and I tell you build me this beautiful swarm uh, um, uh, uh, thing. And you bring your wood, but you're building by me, you are my worker. So if you're my worker, they have to pay you, no matter what oinus is. No matter what happens, I must pay you. Nothing to talk about. Not only have to pay you, you know, there's a din, but poyo, let me explain to you, poyo, I have to pay cash. You know, by poyo, you must pay in cash. I must go pay him. If the dressmaker is called a poyo, a worker, I hired her as a worker, then I would have to pay the dressmaker cash. If he's not a, a, a dressmaker, is not a, what's his name, a poil, let's just say, it's like, you finish the dress, I'll buy it off you. I understand, I'm gonna have to pay you for all the headaches that it caused you. That's what, you know, when you, uh, if anyone, if you ask your column and she got married, how they drove the dressmaker nuts, you know what I mean? They, they, they don't charge you just for the value of the dress, they charge you how much you're gonna drive them nuts. You know, I mean, that's the, it's like, a, four or five times you're gonna come and you want this fixed and that fixed and that fixed, that's part of the price, the big price you pay. So I can him, so if you say I'm gonna buy it, so you could tell the dressmaker, I owe you money, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm sorry, if it's a groomer, I could tell the dressmaker, I owe you money, I caused your loss, I called off the wedding. Let's say, I, there's no show, you, I just called off the wedding. And I could tell her, I owe you the money, keep the dress, see how much money you can get for it, and I'll pay you the difference. Because a groomer, I, you know, if I mazik someone, believe it or not, I can pay him suban. Suban means, how do you say suban in English? Uh, bran. I could deliver you bags of bran and pay you. I don't have to pay cash. Uh, there's a famous story in Israel many, many years ago. They, they demanded a guy to pay suban. So those days there was Ugurot. You remember the Ugurot? I don't remember such a thing. That was before your times. There was the tiny Ugurot was uh, tiny, tiny coins. It was before the, the old coins. So he delivered to her house boxes of boxes of Ugurot. <laughs> it was all over the news. The guy delivered a truckload in front of her house. Of Ugarot, paid the, he had to pay her off. He was going to teach his ex-wife. He paid her... It's called pain. Cash is cash. But, but if, you, if you work with someone, you've got to pay him what's the normal cash pay. No one, he can't deliver a gorot. He has to pay what normally you, you hire a worker, you know, a like check. Right. If it, if, but if he's a, a grummer, I could pay him with, I could have, pay, if I cause you, if I am what's a... What's the difference between the dressmaker and the, the shopper maker? Because the shopper maker is in your house? The shop, uh, shine is my house. This is my house. For sure called a poil. Everyone who gives a poil. But if I tell the dressmaker, so if I hold it's a poil, then I have to pay. I can't drain a cup. I have to pay the cash, and I have to pay the, the loss. Is there you know? any difference, like, if she broke off the wedding, it was her action, versus if he broke off the wedding, it was done to her, it's an anus, like she Yeah, then it's by your anus. Yes, that's and true. Such a case, you know, and the truth is, it's very difficult to buy a dress. No matter who breaks it up, she plans to get married, doesn't she? Eventually. Eventually. It's just, we don't want, maybe the style will be different. Right. You know, I mean, it's very hard to maybe say it's she, oinus. So maybe it's, she would have to pay it out. Pay it out. It's very hard to call it oinus, you know, by marriage. That's why I didn't okay. want to use the oinus. the food on the table? That's a real problem, the food. The food is the question, how do we look at it? And it's a big machloikas in the achroinim. A huge rav achroinim learn. It's it, it, the most of achroinim learn that when you take a cat, I didn't buy it. I was goyre mahezik. And since I'm an oynis, believe it or not, I don't have to pay the caterer. The story with the bris, the guy could say to the caterer, I'm not paying you anything. Everything. Everything, right. But it's only a groma. That means I ordered you, and it costs you a lot of money, and I don't, at the end, I'm an oinus, so the, a groma has to pay, else you call a mazik. But when you're oinus, you don't have to pay. 
So theoretically, you know, according to many achroinim, you wouldn't have to pay. He has a right to keep the deposit because other achroinim hold that it's called I bought, I, I bought the services from him. It's a deal. You know what I mean? It's like a, I put the deposit, so I put out the money. So once I put down the money, it's like I bought the food from him. But those that they have to pay the rest in such a case? Well, the, the, uh, it, it depends. You put down a 50% deposit, and then it gets called off. Now the caterer says, hey, I want my other 50%. If it's called the maker. Forget the other 50%. I want my deposit back. I, I had no he, has a, he has a right to keep the deposit and say that it was a maker. But, but uh, you know, he, we always have a cloud. When you want to take money, he could say Kimli. But the other 50, other, he could say that it's a maker, and Mamela, I'm keeping it as a maker. You follow? That means it's a, 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 it's a purchase. So in such a case, does he have to turn over the food? Yeah. Meaning, I'm the caterer. You give me a deposit 50%. Now you call it off. Well, it depends how much the, the value was it. You know, it, if, he cost, if he's honest and he says it cost me more than the food, I, he had to hire, this time he, had, he hired waiters. He ordered the um, tablecloths. You know how these things go, you know, you make a hand. It's not just the, you know, you make guys made bris and it's not, it's not just you. The guy orders uh, tablecloths and who, the whole thing and he ordered two waiters to come in the morning and he has to pay them no matter what. So it depends how much the loss was. If, he, if, he, if he didn't have such a loss, let's say, then you're right. It, it all depends. He could, he could claim that it was a maker, you know. And the ones who, who claim that it's not a purchase, I mean, the claim is he doesn't own anything, he takes the deposit. He could keep the deposit because since it's a machlekes, he could say kimli. You know what kimli means? When there was two opinions, I could always say, I don't want to pay back the money because I follow that opinion. So this is Negea very, very, very often, this thing. Well, it, it happened to me this summer. I had my kid who was going to camp, an overnight camp, and I paid for it. And then he got sick. I had to take him home. So I had the camp to give my money back. They didn't want him. I, 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 don't, I don't know where, you know, I'm trying to play the nice to but I don't, know if I'm, I don't know if I'm right to ask for it back. It did it cost them more money? Did it cost them money that they could? Could they? Could have they, they could have accepted? They didn't turn away any other kids. That's for sure. There was extra, 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 extra beds. In the so they didn't turn away anyone. So you know, and they didn't lose that money on your kid. And and what well, this was just for one night trip, or this was for the for the what's the name? Huh? I'll, I'll look it up, but Pashtas, they have to give you back the money. I'll look it up again. I don't want to say without, but uh, text me tomorrow. I'll look it up when I have to uh, finish. And Pashtas, they would have to give you back the money. Not everything, pro Prorate, right. He was there one week. There one week, yeah. Because this is Shkir, getting sick, you know he knew. Both people know that this is what happens. Children do get sick, and they have to get sent home from camp. It's not abnormal. This is part of uh, raising children. Children get sick often. It's not so abnormal. So that's, you know, I mean, uh, I'll have to look it up. I don't know, maybe I signed something, you know what I mean, in, in, the, in the contract. Okay, take whatever. a look at the contract. Huh? Take a look at the contract. Okay, look at that. Exactly. I'm sure it's in the day he said. Can you say he got sick? Let's go to the seminary and see what you have to sign there. But he got sick on their, on their grounds. Maybe they're responsible somehow. Did he take care of him? Did he send a doctor? No, no. You know, what did he get sick? A cold? What did he get sick? Whatever he had. We don't know what it is. Yeah, but, uh, you know, you can't blame the camp out there. You know. Children get sick. I mean, that's uh, raising children. <coughs> anyone who raises, you know, anyone. We got sick when we were young and children get sick. It's just part of raising children. Here's a question. If, so if you can't. If, if but I have to check it. I want to double check it. I don't like to pass the question. But I know that it's a remor and it depends what. But if they wrote clearly in the contract, no matter what, you wrote it, you signed the contract? Are you, are, you, are you allowed to... 
Allah is allowed to do it. That's not the. Yeah, it, yeah, uh, you can say what you want. You can say what you want. The IRS is going to know when they want to see at the receipt. But Allah, yeah, that's a separate issue. Because it, the Allah is this way. Something that's common, both of you knew that is going to happen. So then we say, you know, that, you know, both know that this, this, this does, does happen. So the fact is they, were not, they didn't take care of your child. They didn't take care of your child. They would have to give back the money. Unless it's stipulated clearly that no matter what, he gets sick, he goes home, he doesn't like camp. You know, certain camps have such rules. Like, like he said in the seminary, he had to sign. Who knows when? Yeah, there's an asmata there also. Nobody thinks. That, you know, but this, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, but it says clear, you know, it's true. If, if it's what's his name, it doesn't say in asmata, then it probably it's not going to be good. And, uh, that means if it didn't say, look, smart, look, it is to the student, then the star is worthless. Depends how the contract was written. Now, if now this is clear, if you, she goes home and they could have taken another child and didn't take another child because of your child, there's nothing to talk about. But the way he's saying, then he's saying his child, there was plenty of room. So that's a that's a, that's a self separate two separate issues. Yeah, but the Lamaisa uh, getting sick is annoyingness, you know what I mean? And uh, if they, you know, no one thinks they're getting sick. Uh, it's Pashta, it's a smachta. Uh, I'll have to look it up again. And, and uh, another thing that people ask me, counselors, g- 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 girl counselors called me up, young teenagers. So they, you know, they came back to the camp and they, uh, you know, they had a deal last year and they didn't talk, you know, young teenagers are very naive and, uh, and at the end of the week, the guy gives them, uh, they don't give as much. Last year, I think she made, I, I, I don't remember what she was telling me on the phone, the girl, $150, and this year, it's 120 So, you know, teenagers don't like to fight. The mother gets on the phone, the rabbi, what's that loch? He said, if they didn't say anything, and they, they hired you, understanding it's last year's contract, they have to pay $150. If you hire a worker, and I, 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 this happened in school also. I have one of the local schools, I don't want to say the name on tape over here, uh, or maybe Yuvan. So <laughs> one of the schools, they were desperate, so the next year they cut the Rebbe's salaries, salaries and didn't tell them ahead of time. Remember that story, Yankee? You remember? So they had no right to do it. They went to the entire, but they had no right to do it. I heard about one school. Once, you understand? They, if they should have told them ahead of time, they didn't tell them ahead of time. You understand? They, they begin, all of a sudden, they get the first check and they say nothing. That was worse, but even better. If you, Shekharach says clearly, if you are hired at a job, last year you got paid this much, now you're coming to do the, again working this year. As a Rebbe, as a Shlich Tzibbin, Shekharach is talking about, we assume the exact same contract unless there was a, a verbal or something. What if you had a, a, let's say, a 12 month contract? Yeah, same idea. They have no right to do that. No right. No right to do that. They have no right to. They can't change the contract. The original contract, I've seen this, it's not it doesn't say you're working for 10 months. It says you're working for 10 months, you're getting paid for 12. Right? So you get paid you don't have to say that. It doesn't have to say that. No, 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 no. It doesn't have to say that. It was always done that way, and we, it's self understood. And, and, and no school is open more than 10 months. And they decided to change. They have no right to change. Yeah, they have to say in advance. A rabbi has to say in advance because you should able to have the time to get another job. If they don't tell them. Ah, so they can turn and listen. This year, coming year, you tell them ahead of time enough time. Eleven months, we're paying you the same. Right? It's or the story that happened many years ago that we're referring to. If they would have told them Pesach time, you should know next year there's a cut in salary. You don't like it? Look for another job. Right. 
But that's not what he did. You have to, normally by teachers, you have to know by Pesach. Because they, then there's a job availabilities and open zone. Yeah, but that's the mini goylem. I don't think much. It's the mini, that's the, the, the mini. So, but there's, a, there's a, a clause. What happens, and another school asked me a few years ago, they used to pay, help you pay for the medical insurance. Okay? And all of a sudden, the medical insurance was shut up, right? It's crazy, went up a few last few years. And uh, the school didn't say anything. <laughs> you know, I told the school the same thing. You know, they have to pay. You know, you can't come in, and you should have told them ahead of time, before you should know this year we're cutting, we're not going to help you pay the medical. Uh, it was uh, Kaiser, I think they were paying, whatever, it doesn't make a difference. And, you know, and they, they, were, they pay part, you pay part, or whatever this case. They can't change the mind without telling you ahead of time. That, that's not my headache. You should have, you have to tell, that's what they were claiming. They didn't know. Oh, yeah, they know. It happened to be here, in this case, they didn't know. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. It, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't, that doesn't make a difference. They said we pay a certain percent of the, I don't remember how much it was. The school is going to pay a percentage of the, the medical insurance. And everyone knows it goes up and it goes up. And they've been doing it for three years. He was working for three, four years. All of a sudden... Keep the same percentage. It goes up for everyone. Yeah, but they... They, 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 they said the people... The teachers... They didn't want to... They didn't, I remember, yeah, yeah. I remember it wasn't, it wasn't that way written. There was a certain oh, was way it was written. Yeah, there was a dollar figure, and all of a sudden. Uh, uh, that's true. They, they changed, they didn't, want, they didn't want to pay. Now, what happens if they. Well, I know what the school they had, they used to pay 100%. And then it got too high, they, they were tight, they changed it to 50% on the renewal. That's when they did it. Yeah, but if you do it early they enough, you say in advance and it's okay. They knew what it means at the beginning of the year. They have no right oh, to do that. Yeah, so they, they have no right to do that. Mm-hmm. They have no right up here to do that. That means you went in, that they're going to pay the medical insurance, they have to pay it. Even if it was the school out of business and stuff? Yeah, they, they, they let them raise money. I mean, the school never has money anyways. They never, you know, whatever. <laughs> So I'm saying, there's no money, yeah, that's another question. Uh, the, 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 the story in Chabad was many years ago, who the guy quit, right? The guy then. So the question is, if you hire workers for the school, who's responsible? The one who hired or the one of the school? You understand what's happened? Uh, uh, let's say Ruvain was the one who was last year's executive director. He hired all the teachers. What happened at that, that school, they couldn't pay it in the last few months, and the guy quit, the executive director quit. Now, who owes them the money? The school owes them the Chabad, the, owes them the money, or the executive director? That's where the big deal totally came. You follow? They claim, you hired me, you have to pay me. So I said to him, he didn't say, I'm going to pay you. It's a school. The school is obligated to pay. The school didn't want to pay. Take the school to the entire. You should go, you know, you go to court and get a lien on the building. There's, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing. The school refused to pay because it was a new, the new administrator, a new uh, board. board, but they, the, the, the school owes you the money. It was a terrible story there. It was a terrible, terrible story there. But the, the, there's a, the Ramos says in the Shulchan Aruch this, what happens the second year when we're starting the new, the new, the, the, the new thing, they, they said to you, one thing we're going to change in the contract. They didn't, didn't say the contract is the same. They told you they're changing something in the contract. They let you know that uh, is everything included in the contract? Le Marshall. Let me just give a simple Marshall. What happens, you got paid $100,000. This year they say, and, and plus medical insurance. This year they're telling you, we're not going to pay you $100,000, we're paying $80,000. And they mention anything about the benefits. Or we're cutting about the benefits. That's a big machlaik is what the law is. Since we didn't, I didn't renew the last year contract. I just said, this year you're getting paid $80,000. And if I didn't tell you you're getting medical insurance, you have no right to demand medical insurance. 
When do we say the last year's works with this year's? You understand? If everything, nothing was said. But once the guy says to you, it's not $100,000, it's $80,000, and nothing else is spoken, many, many, many points can hold. That means the old contract is not valid, and I hired you only for $80,000. Now, I had such a situation once in the interior, and a secular uh, uh, from lawyer who says, and the courts will never pass you the screaming. I don't, we have a trader, we don't have a court system. You know, the, 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 that's, that, that's clear. If since it didn't work, I mean, I had another interior, which is, uh, which is a terrible story. A guy, a wealthy guy, hired a young guy, and the business was like this you buy a house, and fix it, and do everything, and you sell it. You keep a certain percent, and I keep the, I keep, I mean, I, I bought the house, and of course, there's everybody besides all that, you give him. They made, and he made an enormous amount of money, the first house. They sold it, it was just uh, unbelievable. So they bought another house, and he refused to pay for the second house. He only wanted to pay him, he looked around, what the normal people get paid is, uh, and he refused to pay him. And we had a big dentator, and he lost, and you know, Usha Yaza Azas, he refused to listen. But uh, it's clear that, you know, even though he overpaid him last time, that's so what? I mean, first it was the, you know, by, by workers, there's no Inua. You know what Inua means? There's no, uh, I say Inua, no, I overcharge me or undercharge me. By workers, it, it doesn't apply this. So over here, he was, you know, he was investing, he was working, and wasn't investing his own money. So he was obligated to pay the same amount percentage. There's no ifs, ands, and buts. That's because it was a partnership, right? Yeah, it wasn't a real partnership. He, he, didn't, he, he was doing the work. He would buy a piece of a house, rebuild it, and then get a realtor to sell it. And he, he knew he was very good with what he was doing. He would, you know, to fix up the house and look at who knows what. And it was very good what he did. So they sold the house and made a lot of money. He, the guy realized, wow, this guy's making a lot of money. So next time he didn't tell him anything. He made again a lot of money. He refused to pay him. You, you, uh, next time he says, you want me to invest money now? Okay, there's a different agreement. I, could, I don't have to do, 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 give money again. But the second time it was, no, no words were exchanged. And he bought a, he, he, you want to just turn this off? 